I called in your office today. They said you left early. Where did you go? Actually, I had a meeting with the client, and after that, I came home directly. Really? I mean, I don't know where all places you go after you leave home for work. I'm just asking, okay? Are you still inspecting me for cheating over you? But I thought you forgave me, and we are over it. Listen, it was your fault. You dragged me into this, not me, okay? Yeah, yeah, I'll be there in 10 minutes. Don't worry. Bye. Who's it, baby? Where are you going? Baby, actually, Sneha is moving to this better place, so she needs some help with shifting and all, you know. Oh, wow, really? You're such a nice man. What will be next? Will she ask for your help in her bed, too? Baby, what are you talking about? Please, don't pretend like you care for me. I know you don't care. So just don't act, okay? Hi babe, do you want some tea? No baby, I think I'm too tired. I'll have bath first. Okay babe, uh, how was the trip? It was great. All the foreign delegates were there and it was so positive and dire ambience, so nice. I had a great time. Yeah, I could see your happiness in the photographs, you know. What do you mean? I mean that you were standing right next to this lady through all the photographs. I know what's happening between you guys. Maybe she's head of both the departments and she's too young. Are you mad? Is it? I don't, I don't think I'm blind, okay? I can see what's going on between you guys. You disgust me. Hey baby, what's up? I was just checking if you're still in office. Of course. Wait, you video called me to check if I'm in office or not? Hey, you don't get to complain about this, okay? You have lied to me enough in the past. But yeah, we were over it. You, you forgave me for whatever happened in the past. But why are you being suspicious now? It was a mistake that I trusted you and I cannot repeat that mistake ever again. Baby, see no marriage can work without trust. And I don't see this working like this. You're right, babe. See, I don't think what you're doing is good for you. I don't know what to do, man. I'm, I'm, I, I just have no idea. I don't know. You have to make your peace with it or else you'll be negative always. What do you mean? See, if any decision is making you so negative, then it's time to reconsider it. It's not your fault. Either accept him wholeheartedly or just move on. That's it. See, for me, your mental positivity is the most important thing. That's it. I guess you're right. Yeah. I'll call you later then. Yeah. And take care, please. If your partner has cheated on you, then there are only two ways to come out of it. One, either forgive the person and become positive. Second, leave the person, move on and still be positive. It is not your fault, so you should not be the person who should get penalized for that. So it's important, take a decision, stay confident and stay positive. That's it for this story. See you next Friday. Khuda Hafiz and stay positive. If you are going through any psychological or relationship problem, then you can join our positivity group by the name of Nijo Positive. It's a community counseling group wherein you can submit your problems anonymously and people in the group will try to solve it or support you with positivity. The link is in the description below. Thank you. Bye-bye.